If a man is ghosting you and you are going crazy, dear God, please, please do this. When a man ghosts you as a female, we have an urge for some reason, something's telling us inside that we need to tell them that we saw something. We saw something with them or we thought that they let us on and we want an explanation. That voice is gonna make us wanna text him, call him, have any sort of context with him so that we can have some sort of knowledge or explanation for all of this. But no answer is an answer. Why does a man run away from the woman he likes? Why does a man disappear one day when everything is going well? I'd like to apologize in advance for this video because if you're a man, I'm going to reveal some men's secrets, unfortunately. And if you're a woman, there are some things that will be hard to hear. Continue with this video if you are ready. Otherwise, just skip to the next one. There's something extremely frustrating about being a woman and meeting a nice man. Not the perfect man, but a man who's good. We have a great time together. We laugh, we go to restaurants, the intimate moments are great. Everything's going well. Then, one day, he disappears. We don't understand the logic behind it. We call our girlfriends, What's going on? Everything was going fine. And then today, he's distant, or he doesn't answer anymore. Today, we're going to find out what the logic behind all this is. Fur. The very first reason, which isn't very pleasant to hear, is that there may be manipulation involved. So I could tell you that the man you met is a great manipulator, worthy of a script on Netflix. I could tell you that he's a player, a guy who likes to flirt compulsively, he has to seduce everything in sight and take women's hearts. And after that, he goes off like a Don Juan and ends up loving nobody in the process. I could also tell you that he's a narcissistic pervert, a guy who, deep down, is deranged. As a result, he can't love, so it's not your fault. But in reality, it's often much simpler and unfortunately much more sordid. Maybe he's just a poor guy in need. Let me explain. Many men have understood from an early age that by saying certain things, they'll get more out of you. For example, if you have a nice honeymoon at the beginning, if you say nice things, if you eat out, you'll melt with love. And so you'll be much more open, much more agreeable, and the intimate moments will be much nicer. They've learned you'll give your best if they make you believe certain things at first. Maybe they've learned other things too, like... Typically, if you have a nice honeymoon at the beginning and then don't care afterwards, you're going to hang on. So, basically, they don't need to maintain that honeymoon. They can tell you they love you and then disappear. That's going to get the women they're with hooked. Some women think, it was great with him for a while. He's gone. I don't want to come across as a woman who's reluctant, who asks a lot of questions. And in reality, you're implicitly validating his behavior by not saying stop or asking questions because there's an equation you need to know, which bugs any human brain. It's the honeymoon, then the radio silence, makes you fall in love. Again, it's not simple. It's manipulative, but it works. There are two phrases to memorize about men and women to understand globally how seduction works. Men are desperate for intimacy. Men are desperate. What they want is intimate relationships. Women, not all, but a majority, want commitment and security. On Tinder, the third most asked question by women is, are you ready to commit? Few men would ask that question so quickly. By the way, this doesn't mean that women don't have intimate needs or that men don't wanna commit. Because when it comes to intimate relationships and commitment, we're identical. We have the same needs, men and women. But many of society's rules lead to this type of behavior. Typically, a woman can have an intimate relationship at the snap of her fingers, right down the street, which is not the case for a man. Guys seem to objectively have to do more. Courting, planning a first date, paying for a first date, following up. At the very beginning, when he's very young, he's going to be globally rejected. He'll find it hard to cope. Then, he'll take on the rules a woman wants. Does she want me to dress well? So I'm going to dress well. Does she want me to have a car? I'll buy a car. Does she want me to take her out to dinner? So I'll do it. And he'll learn these rules to make it happen. 
Eventually, he'll cheat. He's going to tell you what you want to hear to get what he wants. He will put his need over honesty and morality. So, the first thing that explains why a man doesn't stay is that he doesn't love you. He's just manipulated you, told you what you wanted to hear. Second possibility, he's afraid to tell you the truth. Sometimes a man gets a little carried away. It goes well, you tell him you love him, and on the spot he responds in kind. You've had two glasses of beer and he says, yes, but I love you too. It goes well. He says it to sound a bit like you. Then he changes his mind. Maybe. Who knows? He's not a good communicator. He doesn't know how to confide in you that you're not exactly what he wanted or that things haven't gone the right way. And rather than tell you the truth because he's not a good communicator, he'll prefer to cut everything off. He says to himself, she'll see for herself that I'm not interested. If I haven't communicated for several days, she'll figure it out. Men haven't been brought up to communicate their emotions and feelings. They've been brought up to think, you're a man, you don't complain, you don't cry, you don't say anything. Women have more emotional intelligence or are more mature in this respect. Third possibility, he's not available. He may have an ex-girlfriend in his head. He may have a problem in his life. He's just not available. He's thinking about something else. And as a result, you're not his priority today. It's either another woman from the past, the present, or a personal problem. When you're dating a man, make sure he's available. So sometimes, in the beginning, there's an immediate physical connection, but after a few weeks or months, there's no emotional connection. You're not meant to be together. You're not the woman he'd like to go on vacation with. There may be other reasons. For example, he may want to prove his seductive power. You represent a challenge for him. He went for it. And then finally, once it was done, it wasn't very interesting anymore. And he just wanted to prove something to himself. Another problem is that he can't commit. Or he's what's known as an avoidant person. Once you commit too much, he just wants to leave. It scares him to love. Either way, know that if a man disappears, it's because he's not the one. A man in love will fight for you, no matter what. There you have it, my friends. I hope I haven't shocked you too much. I look forward to reading your comments, and we'll see you very soon.